Hi everybody. So today I'm gonna talk. Ab I'm gonna talk again English in English, not in Japanese, as I have been, as I have been speaking, as I, as I have been uh, speaking uh, merely in in Japanese in the in the previous uh, series of uh, ten or twenty videos. Uh, now I'm gonna gonna talk. Uh, Again in Engl in English, and uh, I want to sh share some of my ideas with you. Uh, so I think I I think I I'm gonna be talking about uh, anti-natalism anti-natalism again, and uh, why humankind should perish, and uh, how some people are deprived of their chances, their their uh, precious chances to grow up. Okay, let me show you, <laughs> at first, I mean, let me begin uh, with uh, sharing uh, my story uh, about how, how I got a bone fracture here in my, in my hand, in my left hand. I got a bone structure around here, uh, near my uh, little finger, a, pink fi a pinky. Uh, Yesterday, it was yesterday. I got a f got this go bone fracture. Why? How did I get a f get this bone fracture? I was uh, yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday. I was with my parents. Yes, and uh, I was so furious. I got so furious, at, as always, as I have been, as I have been furious. Numerous times, and thousands, no, not thousands, millions of times, all through my life, all my life, and my father, and my mother, especially at my father, how he managed to make my life miserable by being by persi persistently remaining immature, childish. Childish, childishly, immaturely uh, selfish. And uh, refusing to grow up. And so, as I have been, numerous times at the bottom of my heart but usually most of the time most of the time I have I had uh, suppressed my urge to yell at him most of my time and uh, that is why that is how I got self-punishing, I mean. Uh, I was a self-mutilator once, at least once. I was a self-mutilator and I got, uh, and I cut off my little finger. Here, I can't show you uh, my uh, pinky today, but uh, because it is covered with uh, with uh, with this uh, how how do you call it surgical uh, gauze or surgical uh, cloth, but uh, as you as you may as you may as some observant uh, viewers may have uh, uh, spotted, I I have no little finger here. I mean, I mean. I, about half of my little finger is uh, missing. Look, look at my uh, previous, uh, some of my previous videos, observantly, and you can, you can sh see that uh, I, I don't have, I don't, I have only a half of my little finger. I cut off it. I cut it off, and uh, so far I, I have made it unclear. I have. So far, I have uh, 
remained silent about it because I was fearful. I was afraid of hurting. I was afraid to hurt somebody because because of my story, because of my sharing this secret with uh, with an indefinite uh, number of people in the world through this uh, YouTube. But I don't care anymore. <laughs> but if anybody, if anybody, um, uh, by the way, I forgot to uh, shave my shave my uh, beard. Anyway, okay then. How? Why? How? How did I get my? Uh, uh, how did I get my uh, uh, bone fractured yesterday? Okay then. Uh, I was so furious. I was so furious at my uh, father's immaturely stupid uh, selfishness, and I and I yelled at him. Why? How can you be so selfish? So how can you be? How can I? Can you? Can you uh, manage to? How can you? Uh, persistently remain that immature uh, even at the age of 86 and uh, so on and so forth he, he's been yelling at uh, my, uh, my he, he uh, until that time he had been yelling at my mother and uh, uh, because because of his frustration and by the way both of my parents are now disabled. My 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 mother is 85 85 years old. I am 63. I my 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 mother is 85. My my uh, father is 86. And uh, my mother had has been uh, has been uh, permanently disabled since uh, for the past uh, 20 years. So uh, at the age of 65, she had. Uh, uh, she uh, got a, a serious, very serious bone fracture, fracture around here. I mean, I mean, uh, around here. I mean, uh, how do you call it? Joint here. Uh, uh, just a moment. How do you call it? Ah, sorry. I don't know how to call it. Uh, So, uh, my mother got a bone fracture around here. So near the groin, near the groin there is a joint. Uh, there is a bone joint here. Uh, and uh, she had a serious bone fracture here and then got her uh, uh, bone joint replaced with, uh, with an artificial joint. And she uh, she was uh, hospitalized for three three long months, and after she got released from the hospital, she uh, she became permanently disabled. She can't. She hasn't been able to walk uh, freely. She has been uh, able to enjoy walking around as she likes. She manages to. She manages. She man. She does manages. Sorry, she does manage to to walk around very slowly, but only for um, how many minutes? Maybe five minutes. Maybe for five minutes. If she, even if she even if she. Uh, struggles very hard she can't even these days she can't even uh, uh, go to the uh, walk walk to the uh, nearest bus stop for uh, it takes about uh, how many minutes 15 10 minutes uh, it takes her about 10 minutes or 15 minutes maybe she can't manage to reach the bus stop. S uh, she can only uh, walk for three or five minutes, very slowly. Uh, 
up, it takes 10 times more, not 10 times, 20 times longer time to get to get anywhere than I than it takes me. Anyway, um, so uh, I was yelling. I was yelling at my uh, stupid father's uh, uh, immature st uh, uh, selfishness, and I, I struck, I struck the table, the, the table, a uh, kitchen table, very hard uh, table, and I struck the tabletop with my, with my both hands, especially with my with my uh, uh, left hand. And uh, and uh, and that's how I stupidly got my bone fracture. I did at that time. I didn't realize I was striking it hard enough to to get this bone fracture, and uh, it was only uh, two, one hour, one long hour after that that I realized that uh, I was hurting here. <laughs> Oh wow! I got and I my my hand was swelling. <laughs> and my hand was, you see, this is my normal hand, and this is my this is my hurt, uh, swollen, swollen. <laughs> so this part is so swollen, as you can see, maybe. Anyway, so so uh, I had to pay a lot of money. Even though I'm not uh, rich enough, I had to go to the hospital to get to to get a to get a to get my uh, to, uh, to, to get the get the uh, the uh, medical medical uh, care that I needed, and I had to remain like this for one long month month. For one long month, I have to. I can't even use my uh, uh, left hand, so I, I have to manage everything with this hand only. I I can I can use these three fingers, but uh, for example, uh, for example, uh, for my work, I have to use both my. Uh, for my work, I have to use the computer all the time, but uh, now I I can't. I can only use use my uh, right hand. If I if I try to use these three fingers, uh, my this long no, this uh, how do you call it this part. This part of my hand, this part of my hand, b uh, covered with this, uh, with this cumbersome, uh, uh, cumbersome uh, arrangement, uh, hampers my work, because this, this cumbersome part, hits the keyboard all the time. If I manage, if I try to use these three fingers, so uh, I keep, I keep uh, hitting the wrong keys. If I try to use these three fingers, because this part only always always interferes with my key keyboard uh, uh, management, keyboard uh, how do you call it keyboard hitting. So I should refrain from using this hand, and uh, I have to manage manage everything with my with my uh, uh, with my uh, single hand only. Okay. Uh, so why did I? Uh, so I think you can, uh, without uh, without my do, without my sharing anything, uh, you can you can uh, uh, e I think you can e easily imagine uh, why and how I got uh, furious about my about the maturity of my parents, especially that of my father. Uh, so, uh, I, uh, no, my father, my father, uh, uh, he, he keeps 
he has been making all my life all my life and all his life uh, he has been making all his excuses his all these excuses he's he's a genius at make, making excuses he is genius at making excuses to other people and also to himself so he never grow grow up he never grows up uh, people who keep making excuses and and who are really good skillful at making excuses never grow up because they yes uh, they think they believe that they are right on the other hand i am not very good at making excuses uh, as a human only to human i just like everybody every other uh, every other person i uh, i am also somewhat good at my at text making my own excuses uh, in a way making excuses the urge to making to make excuses is part of our self-defense mechanism it's a very uh, important it's a it's an indispensable part of our uh, psychological mechanism in order to survive in order in order not to uh, get uh, insane uh, for example when when you are suffering when you are suffering uh, of course so as long as you live you you encounter a lot of troubles and uh, sometimes you make mistakes but sometimes th these mistakes that you are making are so painful to you that you have to make excuses in order to ex escape in order to be escape uh, your own uh, mm, absurd uh, absurd set of uh, absurd circumstances uh, sometimes you ha you even have to uh, make ex excuses about your own stupidity maybe and then that's how you manage to to uh, to survive without uh, without getting insane so so uh, making excuses is sometimes maybe justified but some people are far more far better at, at making their own excuses than other people are and uh, my father is good at making excuses while I am not that good at it uh, and uh, that's part of the reason why I uh, had to strive desperately to make my life right. It was, it has been hard for me. Yes, striving. Uh, everybody like uh, hates hard work, and I. Although I am a very, although I am confident that um, I am. A very hard worker. Uh, in a way, I hate this hard work. Everybody does. Who wants to work hard all the time uh, while risking your own sanity, while risking your own happiness, while risking your own uh, psychological? stability. I had to risk my own psychological stability in order to in order to work desperately hard in order to attain some level of of achievement in order to overcome my pettiness and stupidity that is common to all humanity. I don't mean to say that I am a saint. I'm not a saint. I'm far from it. 
On the contrary, I admit, I, I have admitted all my life that I am stupid, and uh, I am, I am uh, stupid, and I am a pig just like everybody else. I know that. But uh, many other people, maybe most other people, I say, I want to say, I want to declare that. Uh, 99.9% .9 of people in the whole world are pigs and uh, they want to remain idle, they want to remain stupid, they want to remain pity. Because they want, don't want to strive that hard to attain some level of wisdom. In order to get wise, in order to, in order to overcome their swineness, on in order to, in order to overcome their state of being a pig or a swine, they just have to work hard. And uh, this hard work is really hard, isn't it? Uh, Friedrich Nietzsche says. Man, I mean a human, human beings are a rope between uh, the ape and the superman. Uh, you know, you know Friedrich Nietzsche, and uh, he uh, he wrote uh, "Thus Spake Zarathustra." Zarathustra. Uh, Thus Spake Zarathustra, or also Sprach Zarathustra. In, uh, in German, and uh, he says, uh, man is something like a rope, rope, between the ape and the superman, and thus uh, human beings, uh, people, human beings are constantly in the process of becoming, I mean, progressing toward the state of Superman from the state of being a, an ape. Without, without working hard, he has to remain uh, uh, man has to remain an ape that is stupid and pity and uh, s immature. But man is uh, in the middle between the ape and the superman and some people some people are lazy and uh, they want to remain near the ape near the state of ape and some people are so hard working that they are rather near the state of being a superman I wanna I know that I can't ever be a superman uh, on the contrary, I know I, I am a pity. I am a, I am pity. I am stupid, and I am I am a, I'm, I'm just a pig, uh, just like the the rest of us. But I want to overcome my own pigginess, swineness, this pettiness, this stupidity, this absurdity, by striving constantly. To, to overcome my imperfection. But uh, most of the people, perhaps 99.9% .9 of people, want to remain idle. Okay, okay, I don't care because um, I don't care about my pettiness. Everybody is. Everybody is petty. Everybody is stupid. Everybody is lazy. Everybody is uh, ignorant and. Uh, uh, selfish and so on and uh, who cares I uh, I am just an animal and just as uh, Darwin says Charles Darwin says that uh, we are just uh, uh, we are just uh, d d d just uh, descendants of uh, of apes and uh, nobody can become a superman or a god or anything so uh, let us be animals, and animals are stupid, and we are slightly better than uh, real apes. We are human.
and so on and so forth. Thus, people keep making excuses. But I refuse to make those excuses all the time. I, 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 of course, I, as a human, only only two human, I do make me uh, make some excuses sometimes, maybe very often, but less often than those other people who account for 99.9% .9 of people. <sighs> So I was yelling at my father so hard to the point of becoming hoarse. Hmm? Hoarse? Uh, I don't know how how do you call it. I uh, uh, I was yelling so hard when you uh, when you yell so hard, your voice is overstrained and you become uh, your voice become becomes unclear. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, like this, uh, like this. And so I, uh, I became, uh, I became like this after the, after that yelling. And right now too, I, I don't think I, my voice is completely uh, back to normal. Uh, these days, there, uh, these the sometimes, sometimes, and uh, these days especially, I yell very s so often. Uh, particularly when, uh, most of the time when I, I am completely alone in my own apartment, I yell. I yell in space. I yell in uh, at nobody. Uh, I am totally alone here in my own apartment and uh, I imagine that uh, there is somebody that I hate that I've hated all my life including my father and uh, I yell in space imagining that there is my father over there or somebody else that I've hated all my life and uh, I yell, how can you see that? Or something like this one. Uh, the do uh, stop making, uh, uh, stop uh, that and so on and so forth. And like, how dare, how could you and so on and so forth. And uh, clumsily I yell, I keep yelling for about uh, one or for about s several seconds or sometimes uh, 30 seconds and I have at the end of at the end of all that I uh, my my voice uh, my 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 throat to get uh, has got has has got uh, so overstrained that I my uh, my voice like becomes like this I can't I can't talk uh, I can't be talk uh, uh, clearly uh, with with a clear voice anymore, and uh, this this unclarity and this uh, injured voice uh, be, be, uh, remains like that uh, for uh, maybe uh, for one full day or something. <sighs> And uh, I'm one of those. Perhaps, as some of you or many of you, uh, perhaps like all anti-natalists out there, at the at the other end of uh, YouTube, I am one of those people who have been deprived all their lives of their precious chances to grow up sadly unluckily i am uh, uh, in my in some of my previous videos sometimes sometimes about uh, sometimes in my videos about antinatalism and sometimes uh, in my other videos about uh, karen carpenter 
who is this uh, singing songstress uh, superstar who tragically lost her life at the at the age of 32 and she had been she had been all her life she had been deprived of the of her pre, uh, precious chance to to grow up everybody suppressed her urge to grow up some people are that way i am even though at a to a lesser degree i am one of them i am one of those people who has who have been deprived of their precious chances to grow up that's why people keep calling me or calling those other people uh, childish uh, people who never grow up uh, immature uh, childless people like me are called or oh, very often called uh, immature childish and uh, who, uh, people who never grow up why why as I have precisely as I have been saying in my many other uh, videos I people uh, people who are childless people who are anti-natalists people who have who have been who have tried who have who have who have desperately been trying to to uh, protect protect their protect their loved ones protect their uh, parents uh, 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 who are people who have been desperately desperately trying to to uh, be to be good for their parents or for for those around them lose tragically lose their precious chances to grow up why why is that how how does that mechanism work uh, it is really hard to explain and some psychologists or psychiatrists uh, especially Stephen Levenkron who uh, who is an American uh, an American uh, uh, psychologist uh, who uh, treated Karen Carpenter, the songstress, the superstar. He is a specialist at uh, treating uh, 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 patients of uh, anorexia nervosa or eating disorder, disordered people. And, uh, and also cutters, cutters, I mean self-mutilators. Uh, so uh, cutters or self self mutilators and uh, eating disordered people and perhaps antinatalists are all in my own opinion they are all uh, they are all uh, uh, the type of people who have been deprived of of their chances to grow up how how is that let's see it's hard to explain and uh, I, I am really clumsy I keep uh, I have been talking about this uh, in my previous other videos but uh, I always I, I always failed I was always clumsy at my words in explaining uh, explaining this but let me try again uh, even though I may fail again uh, so how do we lose our precious chances to grow up as we grow up sensitive people like us sensitive people gentle kind people i'm not saying that we are saints but uh, we are gentle and uh, kind anyway uh, at least we drive desperately to 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 please other people not only for our own 
for our own benefits but uh, for the others benefits too we our kind of people are desperate desperately trying to to please other people because to please other people is the is the essence of love or anyway anyway as we grow up uh, let let us go back to our childhood childhood uh, days let us go back to the days when we were one year old two years old three five se seven maybe or seventeen uh, when we are at tender ages we were we were witnessing uh, we were witnessing some people are lucky enough to to, to be with mature wise uh, parents maybe relatively wise people anyway but some people are some people have to grow up under the uh, under the 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 so-called guidance or the so-called care of uh, of uh, uh, less mature uh, parents and uh, emotionally those uh, we our parents are emotionally unstable and uh, they were they are yelling all the time and uh, my father was not uh, my 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 my, uh, my uh, parents were not alcoholics or uh, beaters i mean uh, domestic violent domestically violent people no not at all they were not violent like this they never almost never anyway they almost never uh, hit us children like this no in this way my parents were great so i'm not saying that they were terrible terrible or anything but still even I who am far more favored than many other terribly miserable children I am lucky even I who am relatively lucky to have relatively great people relatively great parents have our own experiences of feeling miserable miserable and always oppressed unable to 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 unable to 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 express our own feelings of discomfort because if we if we uh, if my kind of people dare to 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 uh, express any feeling of discomfort, dissatisfaction, unhappiness, uh, you our our parents uh, may freak out, or not may, but uh, always freak out. They freak out. How dare you? Can you? How could you say that? We are, we are sacrificed. We have been sacrificing our own lives in order to raise you, in order to make you happy. We have been making these extra sacrifices, and yet you are complaining. How could you? Or something like this. And thus they managed to make us terribly, terribly. Miserable and guilty. So we are deprived of our chances, opportunities to 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 complain. So as we, uh, we are, my kind of people, we are. We feel that we are deprived of their of our. of our opportunities to complain, complain, to say that we are dissatisfied or unhappy 
or sad or anything. So we have to pretend everything is all right. You, my, our parents are great. And uh, even super, super people, super men, super women. Oh, my parents were perfect. At least better than many other parents. How can we, how can we feel miserable with such perfect parents? Thus, this was how I have to make myself feel or pretend to feel. So, so uh, for much of my childhood, I had. I was compelled, I felt compelled to feel happy all the time. So actually, I was a great actor. I was, a no uh, I was an Oscar nominee because of my acting, because I managed to make both of my parents feel that I am a very gentle-hearted, very uh, non-violent, uh, uh, mild-minded, mild, minded, mild uh, with mild uh, feelings. I was always calm, always smiling, always gentle, always kind. So I was a model, mo sorry, I was a model child. I was a model son. I was, I have been, I am the, the eldest son. I am the, the first child of theirs, of these three siblings. So I have my, uh, I have two siblings, uh, my sister, my brother. So my, uh, for my little siblings, I have to, I have to, I had to, all, I have always had to play the role of the leading sibling, the leading child. I had to be the leader, even though I didn't want to. So I, I even when my, my, both of my siblings, or even even though uh, even even when actually bo both my sister and my s uh, brother were sometimes yelling sometimes uh, so everybody was yelling my father my mother my brother my sister all these four people were yelling all the time. No, not all the time, maybe. Uh, not all the time. I know that they, they were basically gentle, they, they were basically kind, they were basically great. Yes, I had to make myself believe that they were all great, everything was all right, but, but as I recall, I always I think I always felt that they were always yelling. Uh, maybe not all the time, but I was always fearful. I always feared that even when they were smiling, even though, even when they were smiling, even though they, even when they were laughing among themselves because of some, because, because of joy or something, I was always fearful. I, w I always fear. I always feared that uh, uh, somebody might start to to yell, especially my father. And, s and uh, all of a sudden, uh, he might turn over the, the 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 kitchen table. I mean, dining table with all the rice bowls and the soup bowls and the uh, and, uh, uh, forks and uh, uh, my cho our chopsticks and uh, everything and the glasses uh, with all the tea, 
to tea all the rice and all the food contained in them turned over breaking breaking all the rice balls and everything even even breaking the, uh, the, 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 the electric fan the electric fan, oh, oh, yes, uh, when I was how many years old? when I was 12 maybe? when I was 12, yes? 12 or 11? when I was 11? I was there my sister was not, had not been born yet my brother was out being a bully <laughs> bullying other children <laughs> yes he was a tomboy he was no not a tomboy he, he is for girls uh, he was a um, how do you call it he was a bully yes he was a bully uh, he had to he had to bully other children in order to 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 uh to how do you call it to uh to uh, to de de traumatize himself, he had been he had been he had been traumatized by my parents and by the rest of the society. So he had to de traumatize. He was full of trauma, and he was so suffering so much at the bottom of his heart, in order to to remain uh, sane, in order not to become insane, just like I did, I, he had to bully other children, yes, physically violent, yes, he was, a, he was the, the boss of a, of a small group of, um, of uh, bullies, and he was the leader, he was the leader, he, he was the leader of the pack, and uh, he was bullying, he was physically uh, beating other children in order to, to, to remain sane. But I was the gentle one and I was, I was unable, totally unable to bully other people. And I was with my f mother and my sister, and uh, with my uh, father. My father, my mother and I, at the age of 11 or something in our little house and uh, my f my parents were yelling at each other and uh, yes it, and uh, my father got furious and uh, at the end of their argument he uh, broke he uh, broke the the electric the electric fan uh, he found at the, uh, at close and he he broke the electric fan and then he uh, he broke all uh, all the rice balls and everything kitchen utensils at the electric fan on the floor there was the mess and who and he my father went away uh, went out of the house I I uh, protested at, at that time how can you father how can you say that how you know I mean how can you do that uh, how much does it cost we were poor so so all I could say was that how how does it cost? How much does it cost? This all this precious machinery and everything. How how much does it cost? Uh, oh, uh, oh I, that was all. That was all the protest I managed to muster. And he said, "You, you can never. You, you son. Uh, he was telling me, son, can you?" you can't ever understand how I am feeling and he went away furiously he went away went out of the house he never got back I mean uh, for for several hours at least 
and there was the mess and who had to take care of the mess who had to clear the, the, the everything only me and my mother crying I was clearing the table the floor the, the broken uh, glasses and uh, the broken pieces of the, the electric fan and uh, everything with my father and the crying crying the sobbing I was saying to my f mother mother I was saying to my mother mom it is is it really true that I can I can't ever understand my father or uh, understand uh, uh, how my father is feeling and she said I don't know how, what I don't remember what, what she said perhaps uh, I don't think so uh, son I, I mean I mean yes I you 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 really can understand uh, how he must be feeling so it, what he's saying is not true or something anyway uh, that's all the conversation that we managed to make and uh, we kept cleaning the table and everything uh, so uh, everybody was so uh, my father my mother my uh, my sister my brother everybody the, the whole rest of my family excluding myself everybody else was yelling sometimes in order to to get in order to de-traumatize themselves everybody has to de-traumatize themselves in order to get in order to stay healthy I mean moderately uh, in order to manage to stay healthy they have to yell sometimes they have to sometimes they have to behave unreasonably sometimes they have to get stupid sometimes they have to uh, get uh, selfish childish immature or something like that because this this world is not perfect at all and, and uh, gentle people good people keep being harassed uh, prole proletarians keep being harassed by their by capitalists the poor get traumatized by uh, by the rich the, the masses get traumatized by their their brutal presidents of uh, some uh, superpower in the world or something like this uh, just like people in the poorest countries uh, have to suffer from the wars caused not by themselves but by perhaps by Western countries maybe and some people have to get traumatized by atomic bombs dropped by some powerful country or something like this and uh, some people some people are some people tend to be intellectually minded intellectually oriented and they have they have they uh, uh, unluckily uh, uh, experience they are urged to get knowledge uh, harassed by a uh, Pol Pot and uh, you know Pol Pot the Cambodian Pol Pot Mao Zedong Mao Zedong the uh, chairman of the uh, of China uh, and uh, Stalin those communist leaders uh, uh, when I was young when I was a child 
those those communist leaders in the whole world were harassing, her, killing, massacring. No, no, massacring. Hmm? No, massacring, uh, massacre, massacring. Those Pol uh, Pol Pot and uh, Mao Zedong and Stalin and uh, those other uh, communist leaders and the labor unionists and uh, other people were massacring, mass massacring and uh, killing, brutally killing uh, gentle people who who uh, who uh, who. Uh, who looked slightly uh, remotely like uh, intellectuals or bourgeois. Actually, most of them were not selfish bourgeois or intele intellectuals. They, many of them were uh, just hard workers and they, they happened to, to like uh, to pursue knowledge, and by pursuing knowledge, they ha they wanted to sh they wanted to uh, contribute to society, to the poor people too. But those, even those uh, benevolent intellectuals or benevolent intellectually minded people, were being massacred, being brutally killed, or otherwise harassed by communists and uh, uh, labor unionists and so on and so forth. And I, even though I am not a bourgeois, I have never been a bourgeois or I have never been a, a rich uh, landowner or anything. Even though I am rather poor, I, even though I have been I have always been rather poor, even though I have never been a college professor or anything. Uh, I was, in, I happen to have been uh, uh, intellectually oriented, and uh, excuse me, about one hour has passed. It's four thirty. Okay. I was checking the time because uh, I can't afford to, to stay here so long. Uh, these days I have been very busy, not because of my work, not because of my studies, but because of the need to take care of my parents, my, my, my parents who are partly or uh, who are partially or permanently disabled. My my mother is permanently disabled and especially these days he, she has she experienced she has had uh, uh, another set of bone fractures so she's she had uh, she has always been she has always been uh, permanently disabled for the past 20 years and especially now she has she has undergone another set of bone fractures and, and now she she is in uh, gypsum uh, what I mean is how do you call it like this uh, so she, she can't eat, uh, she, so uh, so uh, she's uh, she's having a, a terrible difficulty in walking <laughs> she, she, so without my support she can't even t take a taxi uh, 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 who, which comes, comes uh, in front of my uh, our house, uh, because uh, because uh, 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 part uh, because uh, uh, part of her leg, part of her uh, left leg is covered with uh, something like this now. Uh, and my father, my father is not permanently, but uh, but uh, temporarily disabled, and uh, he can't walk at all now. Uh, uh, he manages, uh, he does manage to walk uh, with a 
with a walking stick, uh, very slowly, with a with a, a severe pain in the uh, lumbago. No, in in in, her, in, her, in his lumbar part. And uh, so I have I have been terribly busy taking care of both of my parents, both of my disabled uh, parents, uh, taking them to taking each of them on one day I have to take my my father to this hospital on another day to that day, to that hospital and so on and so forth and uh, on on another on yet another day I uh, I have to take my, my mother to to this uh, hospital and so on and so forth and uh, on other days I have to go shopping go shopping and get food and uh, other uh, daily necessities for them and uh, I have I have to I have to uh, wash uh, wash something or uh, I have to uh, anyway I have to manage the house manage the, I have to do all those uh, house chores from both of my parents uh, in my in the in the in the house of my parents, so I have been very busy. So I, I do I haven't managed to 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 do any work on my own these days. For how many days? At least for at least uh, for three for three months or so. So how how can I go on like this? I uh, I haven't been able to to uh, make my own living. <laughs> I have to be working a little bit harder, in, even though I don't have to work as hard as I had to when I was young. Yes, I have. My income has has been declining, declining greatly. Uh, partly because I uh, I am rather uh, old now, and uh, uh, society doesn't need me as much as it did before. And partly because I don't want to work that hard anymore, and I, I, I want to at this old age, uh, at the at the age of thir uh, 63, I want to, uh, I want to spend as much of my time on doing my own studies. Uh, maybe it may be this my studies, my studies of the humanities may be called a hobby but for me it's not a hobby at all it's a it's my life work it's a it's part of my it's my god ordained mission i have to pursue truth <coughs> pursue truth and beauty in order to in order to uh, grasp that that truth i mean I have to. I have to what? I have to learn. I have to explore this mysterious world of knowledge in order to 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 understand what has been making all of us suffer. For one thing, what is life? What, what are we? What am I? What are you? What, and what are humans? What, what have humans been doing? What, how, why humans had to emerge on this earth, and how, uh, how and why some countries are rich? And uh, some other countries are poor. How, how and why some people are rich, some people are not. And uh, how and why some people are really egoistic and others are not. How, how, how some people are strong and some people are not. And so on and so forth. And, so, and why do we have to suffer this much? What is the uh, fundamental cause of all this misery and inequality and so on and so forth uh, from the viewpoint of politics 
history, psychology, anthropology, cultural anthropology, and and what? Linguistics, maybe. Arts, I mean, fine arts, and what? Phi psycho and uh, philosophy, religion, religious studies, and what? Archaeology, and so on and so forth. Especially the humanities, in order from the viewpoint of hu the humanities, I have to explore this world full of mystery in order to understand humanity, in order to understand the human beings, in order to understand myself, in order to understand how and why I have been having to suffer as much as I have, ha as, as much as I have, and what, how and why those other people have been suffering. So this, this exploration is my God-ordained mission. Even though it doesn't pay, it doesn't bring food on the table. On the contrary, people keep laughing at me, maybe, perhaps. Even though they don't laugh, they still uh, don't care about it. Nobody cares. Rather than rather than spending your whole life on such such matters and rather than uh, risking rather than even risking your whole life on such studies you can you can uh, make yourself feel far happier by watching TV having sex uh, chasing girls and uh, boys uh, and uh, playing tennis as a recreation as a recreational activity and so forth and so so uh, just by casual casual uh, uh, recreational activities which don't require uh, hard work uh, you can easily make yourself happy can can't you then why then why and how then then why uh, do you have to uh, uh, s keep struggling uh, with your uh, uh, over straining your uh, limited in intelligence and uh, studying all the time uh, 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 suffering all the time struggling to explore this uh, unfathomable uh, almost unfathomable excuse me why do you have to keep suffering all your life struggling all this time uh, by struggling, uh, by by uh, by struggling to understand this unfathomable life mystery of the universe and uh, of the whole world and uh, of the whole the psychology, human psychology, this dark psychology, rather than wasting your precious opportunities to to have a good time by casual uh, pleasures uh, you can you can really just relax and uh, admit that you are just a pig just like everybody else and uh, have a good time and uh, try to forget everything and uh, try to trying to be uh, a positive thinker 
and you can uh, you can uh, keep doing that you can you can keep making uh, you can keep yourselves busy at pursuing carnal and uh, superficial pleasures until you are you until you are uh, time for death comes so many uh, many uh, most people are that way but I I, I am one of the one of the rare people who who uh, feel keenly that it is my God ordained mission to explore this unfathom unfathomable mystery. So uh, I was trying to explain how some people how some people are deprived of their chance to grow up. Well, I uh, I again failed to failed to uh, explain it fully. So uh, excuse me. try to to uh, conclude my clumsy uh, presentation or monologue in 10 minutes and I have to get prepared to go back to my parents to take care of them okay mm. so some people are deprived of their precious chances to grow up. Why? Uh, so, uh, as general people uh, in our childhoods, we see our parents, our siblings, and they are suffering. They are yelling. They are, everybody was, is fighting. And uh, when, when they are fighting, when they are yelling at each other, when they are yelling at the rest of society, when they are fighting the absurdities of life and of society, and when they are struggling with poverty, when they are struggling, when they are fighting the, these difficulties of life and society, you, as a child, as a child of at the at the tender of a, at the tender age of five, three or five or seven or seventeen, you feel responsible for the misery of all those people who are precious to you, your parents especially, and they are crying, sobbing, or yelling, angry, and. Uh, Men uh, tend to be furious and yell uh, when they are sad. Men are not supposed to cry or sob. So, uh, in order to in order to suppress, uh, in order to uh, in order not to start sobbing or crying. They get furious instead. They they yell, uh, just like my father, just not like my uh, little brother too. And so they uh, so they break things. They break things, or they they uh, physically beat other people, or they yell, and in order to. In order to dissipate their their sadness, terrible sadness, and uh, women are not supposed to. Uh, they, women are not forced to to re uh, remain without sobbing. So uh, they they are they have their freedom to to cry or sob sometimes. So when they are sad, some they sometimes cry. And so uh, my whole family was either crying or 
yelling, getting furious, or getting miserable. And、uh, when I was witnessing, witnessing the rest of my family that way, I felt terribly responsible for all that. How? Why, why, why and how is it that everybody is yelling and、uh, sobbing and、uh, crying and、uh, uh, furious all the time like this? And I was, I, I even felt、uh, responsible, I f- even felt guilty for making them feel that way. Perhaps. I had a feeling as though I was somehow, somewhat responsible. I was somewhat. I thought perhaps, I don't know how or what I, I was really feeling at the age of three or five. But、uh, as I recall, I imagine that I,、uh, I was perhaps feeling that I was terribly guilty. Of having done something which I had never committed. I was really, I was really sinful, I thought, perhaps. I may have thought that I was terribly guilty of doing something that led to, to their misery. I was feeling, perhaps, that I was. Contributing to, to their misery or, or sadness or something. The whole world was insane like this because of my existence or something. Okay, when I am saying this way, when I am saying things like this, some people say, Oh, you are being arrogant. No, you are being arrogant because, because you are just a Small part of society. How can you be responsible for, for the misery of, of, of the whole society? You are not Jesus Christ.、Oh, something like this. Okay, easy for them to say. Children are this way, especially sensitive people, children. Gentle children, kind children are this way. When, you, when, you, when, when the whole family of yours, especially Your, your parents are miserable, miserable or,、uh, and, uh, or fighting each other or something. Or fighting each other and also fighting the rest of society, the, the, the absurdity of society and life. They,、uh, I mean, these children at the age of three or five or seven, they start to feel that you, they, they are. Fundamentally guilty or something. They, were, they start to feel that they were the, 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 the fundamental cause of the whole misery of the whole world. Even though, as they recall, they come to realize that they were not the,、uh, Jesus Christ. But I, I thought, I think I, I was feeling something like. This. I was like a Jesus Christ. I'm not, I'm not being arrogant here. I'm not trying to be arrogant here or something. No. I am far from a Jesus Christ. No. I, I know that. But in a way, I was trying, or I was, I felt that I was fundamentally guilty of existing here. Having been born here, I was, I thought as if I was guilty for the misery of whole the, the whole world. Even though I never committed any crime, I, even though I had never raped any, any woman, I thought as if I, I had actually raped all those women. Muslim children, Muslim women. You remember that?、Uh, in 1995? Or no? 
I don't know. I don't quite remember when exactly. In 1995 or something, Muslim, many Bosnian women, millions of, no, tens of thousands of Muslim Bosnian women were raped, brutally raped, raped some, some, by some who, who, who uh, by some people. Slovenian? I know, I'm, I'm not sure. Sorry. Sorry, I am quite ignorant about this. Uh, uh, so that uh, Bosnian women brutally raped by some other people, that was a great tragedy. And also Tutsis and Hutus, yes, Hutus and Tutsis. Who killed whom? I, I don't remember. But anyway, Hutus and the Tutsis. This clash between Hutus and Tutsis in uh, who, where, in in some part of Africa. That was another great tragedy. And Pol Pot killing all those three million people. Three million people, maybe. So uh, Cambodia or Kampuchi, Kampuchea uh, was a small country of uh, 8 million people maybe and uh, out of that uh, 8 million people about 3 or 4, uh, 3, 3 or 2, 2 or 3 million people were, were brutally murdered by Pol Pot and, other, uh, and his associates. Uh, all the all those people, all those Cambodians who were able to read and write were killed. So Pol Pot and his associates hated intellectuals. Their guts. And Stalin too. How many people? I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly how many uh, Stalin killed. Uh, maybe 30,000, uh, 30 million people. Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, the Chinese. Mao Zedong, the leader of China in those days. Mao Zedong killed or let uh, Mao Zedong uh, did something that led to the that that did the death of uh, uh, how many people? Thirty million people. And he even said he went so far as to say that uh, uh, I mean Mao Zedong. He 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 was even ready to let many other people die. Uh, uh, he even said that uh, I don't care. He said that. I don't care if uh, maybe uh, one third of my uh, one third of the whole population of the China uh, may die because of my because of my strug uh, struggles uh, toward uh, uh, revolution in order to make a strong nation uh, some sacrifices. Uh, are indispensable. So, so uh, my sacrifices may amount to uh, to uh, how many? Hundreds of hundreds of millions of people. So he was even ready to let hundreds of millions of people die. People of their own uh, of his own uh, compatriots. So he was. Uh, He was insane, totally insane. So anyway, uh, those communists, communists and the communist leaders and the labor unionists, they were, they were really active when I was a child. When I was a child, those union, Pol Pot, Mao Zedong, Stalin were really active and uh, they were they, 
they were fearfully uh, getting their messages. They were they were uh, making the rest of us feel as though th those communists and uh, they are were um, very persuasive. And uh, I, as a as a person who who likes pursuing knowledge and the truth, I felt really responsible. I felt like a sinner. Because Pol Pot, Pol Pot, Pol Pot the Cambodian, Mao uh, Zedong the China Chinese, Stalin the, Chi uh, the, the 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 Russian, and all those other communists and uh, other leaders leaders of the world were saying that intellectuals are sinners. They uh, sinner intellectuals have intellectuals have to be exterminated. That's what they were saying. And my fa own father was saying something like that too. He was, he was, for many years, for th for at least for three decades, he, my fa my own father was the leader of large uh, labor union, and uh, 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 he was a good labor unionist, not uh, not uh, not a terrible uh, gangster like. Uh, labor unionist. He was a. Uh, he was, uh, in a way, he was. Uh, he really believed in the, the the equality of all people. He wanted to make a society, a real uh, make a society uh, come true where all uh, menial laborers can be can be treated equally as bourgeois. Uh, so that's what he pursued. In the way, however, he managed to to do something and say things that led to making me with, uh, feel miserable because what he was struggling for was in clash while was, was in clash against my own beliefs i felt responsible uh, I, w I felt as though my own father and those other communist leaders were making sure that people not only uh, people like us like people like those uh, uh, people like those uh, intellectuals and and uh, people like me who were, even though not a real intellectual intellectual uh, but uh, uh, who uh, like who who love the truth who love knowledge and who want to contribute to society through through uh, the pursuit of knowledge and he my father and those are the those are those other communist leaders seemed as though they were uh, they believed that uh, my kind of people were fundamentally guilty and had had to be exterminated that's what i felt so i was i felt really responsible and I had to I think I I was guilty and I had I I felt that uh, I had no absolutely absolutely no right to say anything in this society in in the family I had no right to say anything or complain or uh, say that I am miserable or uh, anything to my parents that's what I thought, what I thought. So, I was, I was suffering the tra tragedy of my parents and my uh, family, and also the tragedy of the whole world because of the, the communist uh, movements in those days, and also of of all the uh, 
of all the uh, historical movements uh, in, 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 in the whole world. So I was experiencing, I was experiencing this double misfortune, the misfortune of my own family, of my parents, and the misfortune of the whole world, in the external world. That's what I was experiencing. And that's why I thought that I had no right to say anything, neither to my parents nor to, to, the, to society. So people took advantage of me. I was so gentle that I, I, I said nothing. I, uh, I never complained. I, I was always smiling and I was always gentle to my parents, to my, to my siblings, to, 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 to the neighbors and to, to, to the rest of society, to my classmates and to, to, the, to my uh, colleagues in, in uh, at my workplaces and so on and so forth. So all these people took advantage, advantage of me and, uh, by bullying me, by harassing me. And, and uh, however hard they may, uh, they may have harassed me, I never complained. And thus, I never grew up. And that's how some people are deprived of their precious chances to grow up. So, uh, uh, so uh, how exactly, I mean, the way, the exact ways uh, the exact ways these all these people uh, get deprived of their precious chances to grow up may differ, but fundamentally, uh, essentially, they are the same. So my the, the experiences that I had are similar to those other people who who whose uh, chances to grow up are are uh, taken away from them. So, uh, it's now uh, five o'clock, so let me, let me uh, close my video for now, and thank you very much, and if you, in case you have, in case you have uh, kindly paid, paid attention to my whole speech or presentation or monologue I thank you very much and I will keep monologuing forever and forever as long as I live in order to in order to uh, explore the fundamental causes of human misery and their misfortunes of the whole world from the viewpoint of from the viewpoints of psychology of philosophy and uh, and uh, literature and on uh, the other fine arts and uh, and uh, politics and history and everything S sociology too thank you and uh, I, I want to explore it is my god ordained mission to explore the the realities, the, the truth of the entire human dark psychology and the the entire uh, human condition, and that's why, and that's what has been driving me to make these speeches or. Uh, monologues and that's what has been driving me to read read all these books and uh, think all this time for the past 63 years ever since I was born and I th strongly I firmly believe that this is precisely my God ordained mission my God-ordained mission is to pursue truth, to to explore this unfathomable, 
unfathomable mystery of the human condition. Thank you.